<clears throat> so I'll make a video about <laughs> okay so why is this such a big deal uh, according to Wikipedia well I was I was a uh, Checking this um, article on Wikipedia. Oh, where is it? Mm. So I just sort of uh, browsed it, uh, barely browsed it, but apparently, this is a scene there, like on the whole planet. <laughs> This is between zero point something to let's just say one point five. Or, let's just say at, at a maximum that they let's say there's two percent. I mean, this is such a generous. I think that's too much actually. I think I, it might be even less than one percent. Less than one percent. Less than one percent of people in the world are transgender. Uh, because according to Wikipedia, for instance, for example, in the U.S., it says in 2011, a rough estimate is 0.3 percent of adults in, are transgender in the U.S. Uh, in Canada, it says one in two hundred adults. Oh, this one it says zero point two four percent. Oh my goodness, and the, the, the zero point one six percent. Anyway, it's pretty small, all right. I mean, one percent is like way too generous. I think it must, it must be like less than one percent because in some countries, um, I don't know. I mean, you can, even if people don't allow trans people, it, it, there is still uh, going to be trans people. Like, a, let's just say it's very, very low. Let's just assume that the number of people who are trans are very, very low. Very low. Um, so, let's just say less than 1% of the people in the world are transgender. And out of that less than 1%, you know, this thing, it says like a uh, number of trans women it says in, in the Wikipedia, 1996 study of Swedes estimated that a ratio of 1.4 to 1 trans women to trans men for those requesting sex reassignment surgery. Uh, and a ratio of 1 to 1 for those who proceed. Okay, so let's just say there are like a little bit more trans women than trans men. Okay, so let's just say, oh, where is it? let's just say, um, let's just say 0 0.6 or 0 0.65 uh, of this 1%, of this less than 1% are, okay. Let's say 0.65% of less than 1% uh, are trans women and of the, of the less than, how many trans, of the trans women, how many of them want to uh, be in sports? Uh, let's just, I don't know, how many, how many people want to be in sports? Uh, uh, pop percentage uh, of sports people in population. So, uh, 
Here's participation statistics. Yeah, but this talks about physical activity. It's not like a professional thing. Uh, see, this this talking about like one times per week or three times per week. That, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like. And this is 81.7% of women over 15 years participate at least one time per week and this is for f sport or physical activity. I'm looking for like uh, actual professional athletes. Yeah. Percentage of professional athletes in population. Oh, okay, wait a minute. The likelihood of becoming a professional athlete. 0.3% uh, for men. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Let's go to this. There's a... Oh man, that's very low. 0.4% have a chance of playing professionally in baseball. Uh, I guess... <laughs> How many athletes are there in the world? What percent of the world are... Okay, here we go. What percent of the world are athletes? Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Estimates put the number of kids that play sports at some time in the neighborhood of 75%. A pretty big drop-off when you consider that less than 1% of the overall population plays professional sports. In fact, the number is well under 1%. According to NCAA and NAIA statistics, I don't know what that is, just one in 250 college athletes go on to play professionally. That represents 0.4% of college athletes. All right, okay, just to say, just to be charitable, let's just include like high school and college uh, sports as well. So if there are, if 0.5% of less than 1% of the population are trans women. Let's just say, what is a point? What is a 1% of 0. 1% of 0. 0.01 times 1.65? Uh, <laughs> 0.0065 percent of world population have the chance oh no 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 of of a world population a trans woman who may play in sports this is high school college uh, professional. I don't know if this math is real right, okay? So the, the point I'm trying is saying, this is a point. This is my point. The number of, of trans women in who may play, who may, who may want to play in sports High school, college, professional, 
is exceedingly small. Okay, that's the point. I'm, I'm, I'm using this figure to show that what we, when, when, why is it an issue that affects such a minuscule portion of um, You know, first of all, the, 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 the sports population is like 1%, all right? And within that 1%, the amount of, uh, man, this, I don't even know how to calculate it, but it's very, very little. I don't even know how, how many trans people can, can you know, can you count them in like a, <laughs> is it less than 10, 10? Or less than 20 known trans women in sorts. I don't know. But why is this issue blown out of proportion? Why are they introducing legislation? This is a very, this is all of, <coughs> this is not reality, this is all uh, politics, all politics, um, or uh, anyway, I'll just, overwhelmingly so, okay. Okay, now let's, uh, uh, let me, my, 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 I don't know if it's, I have other people I thought about maybe that my practical solution to this huge problem. <laughs> okay, that's me being sarcastic, obviously. Okay, so what's my solution? Create, <sighs> if a trans woman and I'll, I'll declare it trans women because that, that's apparently what all the problem is right? because we're dealing with women's sports and more. Trans women, uh, the system I will use is license to play sports. Okay, so if a trans woman wants to play, let's say, and, and let's say it, the, the license will um, specify type of sports type of sports, um, uh, level, for instance, can it be high school, college, or, or, or professional, can have <coughs> time limit, so exactly, like it have to be renewed uh, every one year or two years. Uh, or when some uh, condition uh, is satisfied, such as, you know, if they change, such as change in medication or something, you know. And, um, okay, so, so in order for a trans woman to participate in a, a let's let's say uh, in a in a soccer team or on or, or let's say swimming, that that trans woman has to go and get a license from a uh, a, a, a professional body set up to evaluate and uh, issue licenses depending on set criteria. So, so um, this body can include like, uh, you know, like uh, sports professionals, uh, professionals, uh, doctors, uh, physiologists, physiologists, and then, you know, they can even do research and stuff like that. And you know, with with the uh, uh, expertise in trans sports, and and then these people will so 
so so these people were depending on the type of sports they will evaluate that like the trans person goes to this institution and say hey i want to participate like let's say i want to i want to be like uh, i want to play basketball you know in in, in this uh, high school uh, uh basketball team at this <coughs> And, and I want to be issued a, a license for like two years or something. <coughs> oh man, my, my throat is a prime. And, and, and then the, um, and then the body will do like a number of tests, like, you know, muscle tests or running or jumping or whatever, all of that test. And then depending on the results of that test, they will either issue a license or they will say, oh, oh, sorry, we cannot issue your license because of, uh, you know, you might be beyond the what 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 people consider is the acceptable range for um, the average woman to be. So so for instance, if, if the average woman, let's say, let's say can run hundred meters, let's say hundred meters uh, in like like in let's say eleven twelve seconds. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I mean, you know, professionals, I think they, they go like, what, 10 seconds is the fastest for women? I don't know. But let's say if you're in high school with a basketball team, let's say the average high school uh, girl who, uh, you know, for running for 100 meters or, or jumping or whatever, is like, let's say it's 12 seconds. And if you like, if you run like, uh, I don't know, um, let's say not 12 seconds, let's say, let's say it's 11 to... Um, this is all t random, right? Uh, but if you run like let's ten point, uh, ten point, let's say five, okay, then then the, 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 they will say, oh, you're running too fast. So um, what they can do is um, the test will be designed so you can't cheat it or whatever, you know. Um, they they have to figure out those tests. So then they will say, oh, you've got too much, uh, you know, running capability, so we can't issue you a license. Or they they will say, maybe you can adjust your medication, or do something to ensure that your uh, muscles or whatever isn't giving you this edge. And if if um, yeah, and and let's see if you're like. Um, an older trans person and then you uh, try to apply and then they say you you know you're out of the, you're too fast or whatever then they'll say well you can't play <laughs> so so you know it depends on whether or not you can get this license um and i think this makes it fair all right this makes it fair so if you have the license to play in the sports if you're a trans um, you can show, hey, I did a test, and the and the and the department, the you know, I, I got a license. They did they did all these tests on me, and they're saying, you know, I can participate. See, this way, you can deal with this in an in an individual way instead of having to create rules that apply to everyone, because not all trans people are going to be the same. You know, the uh, you know some trans trans, you know let's say trans women um, you know so many factors are going to affect how their bodies are gonna develop so it could be genetics because some some uh, you know ethnicity um, uh, age of transition whether you transition uh, young or old um, older younger or older and uh, nutrition uh, um, uh, what else nutrition medication yes yeah, right. medication length of hormone therapy um see so so because all of these things are like so different for each trans person by having this license system right you you can make sure that like individual trans people are 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 um treated uh accordingly <laughs> so so this way right let's say okay let's talk about it this is going to mainly affect um adult trans people like you know, who transition later because when you, if you transition very early your the capacity for you to have such big differences re reduces dramatically but um 
uh, well, they haven't proved it, but I think that uh, I'll just assume that seems like a reasonable assumption to make, but they can do studies on that. Um, so let's say if you're uh, if you transition when you're 20 years old or something, um, and so let's say you were uh, like, um, let's say you were, <laughs> let's say you were from. Uh, Philippines or something. You're you're from a Philippine background, and people. Let's just assume. Okay, <clears throat> instead of naming names, let's say a a person from this, uh, 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 for the genetics from background A, they tend to have like a thinner bones naturally, uh, and um, they don't grow very tall or what, and they're not very muscular. Whereas people from genetic B, they might be naturally have longer bones and, you know, people have different um, genetics like that, right? And and also like maybe as a one person might have, uh, might have grown up eating a lot of good food, while, <coughs> while the other one might not. So anyway, so this way, like, if you go to, even though, like, you have, you, you get, like, uh, two trans people, right, who are, let's say you have two trans women who, uh, who are applying for the license, uh, one of them doesn't get it because their uh, performance on the test uh, puts them outside the a median range for what a woman would, um, a cis woman would, um, perform in the sport <laughs> and you, you have to see like the, the the test will be different depending on the type of sports because if you're going to do like swimming you, the type of test they apply on you will be different from if you do weightlifting or if you're doing a running or if you're playing in a team sport or whatever you know so I think this way this is a fair way uh, in my opinion I mean I am open to uh, 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 refining this <laughs> uh, to and, and 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 you know requiring the renewing the license is also good so you can make sure that uh, you know uh, you know that the the they're still the, the the license is still relevant anyway I think this this is a good method and I just want to point out okay the amount of trans women participating in sports is incredibly, incredibly low. The amount of trans people in society are incredibly low. Okay, so this is just so unfair to pick on trans people. No, to pick on trans women because no one talks about trans men. Uh, you know, that's another stupid thing. They just ignore that. Uh, it's always picking on. Anyway, it's just just so frustrating it's, it's, it's this is just so wrong and every time they do it they always uh, choose like where someone obviously looks like oh they they, they look like they're out of place in France women in, in, in women's sports it's, it's just like a way to like uh, you know pick bully bully trans women from not uh, seeking to participate in sports um, but if, if that's the way society is going to be, okay, fine. I guess my license system, uh, uh sort of, uh, I, I don't think this is, I'm not saying this is what the way it should be, but I'm saying this is a good way to compromise with those people who say, oh, it's unfair for trans women to be in, I mean, you know, women's sports is going to be destroyed if you let trans women in. So in order to deal with those people this licensing system may be able to you know ease their very genuine worries <laughs> um yeah stop picking on trans women all right just leave just stop okay